All right, I just wanted to share my, uh, my weirdest creation over this last year, which I call a, a uh, steel drum banjo, electric steel drum tenor banjo. <clears throat> and this is, uh, I don't know, this is a brainchild of, uh, of COVID, I guess. Um, I, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I, I kind of started my banjo interest journey by buying an old uh, Irish tenor banjo. And um, then I started making little different different uh, configurations of, uh, of tenor banjos. And I'll, I'll make a couple other videos of a few other strange things that I created over this last year. But this one, um, I, uh, I had this old steel drum, just really cheesy, I don't know, some kind of like tourist purchase from uh, from Trinidad or Tobago um, that was hanging in my garage, just kind of a beat up old steel drum that uh, actually it does have a it does have a, uh, some steel drum qualities. But uh, it's certainly not a, a much of a playable steel drum. So I thought, wow, what if I made a what if I made a, a banjo out of that thing? And uh, the way I did it was I started with um, some oak flooring. These little pieces in here are a little two two plus inch pieces of uh, oak flooring that I just cut and assembled into a, into a hoop. Um, and then I made it such that the steel drum would just kind of fit over the, the top of that thing. That would provide the structure so I could run. I bought, a, bought an, an antique banjo neck um, off of eBay. No idea of the history of this neck. But um, yeah, I reckon it's, it's, probably, it's probably pretty old. And uh, it's, a, it's a longer neck with, with a few more frets on it than at your typical typical tenor banjo and uh and i just ran that guy yeah through the through the pot and uh and and screwed a uh, screwed a, a, a thing in the end there to hold the the uh the angle of the neck i got some pretty good action on it actually and um yeah, I stuck that steel drum over there and used these crazy little, I, I mean, you could call them hooks, but they're really just little receivers uh, for the edge of the steel drum. These, these came out of an old piano soundboard. Um, uh, somebody tossed out an old piano and there was all kinds of wooden, wooden parts and hammers and, and stuff. And, and these little wooden pieces were part of that piano and I just cut a little slot down the middle of these things. I don't actually remember what these things, what function these guys served, but there's a little piece of leather glued over the top of it, <clears throat> probably as a, a dampening thing, but they're just little wooden, wooden pieces that I thought would make a pretty nice little um, hook, something to receive the, and hold the, the edge of that uh, steel drum down. Then I just, uh, I drilled, put a tailpiece on there, just a, yeah, I kind of had to jerry-rig an old, uh, looks like it's a five-string banjo uh, tailpiece, and I put some, put some holes through the, through the steel drum and put uh, those little round rings that are usually on the end of guitar strings that have a hole in the middle of them. I just inserted those into the, the jagged metal of the steel drum so that uh, the strings could go through there without getting caught on the jagged steel. And um, made a, actually I bought a, a cello. Can't remember what size cello bridge it was, but I had to do some, some real trimming and shaping and cutting down of the, of the actual bridge uh, to make it work uh, for this application. But I, was, I just had no idea if it was gonna sound like anything. And then of course the idea from the beginning was that I would need to uh, make it electric. So I had this old Bill Lawrence uh, pickup that I used to use in my guitar back in the wow I must have picked that up in the in the early '80s <clears throat> and had it laying around. And uh, in order to receive or in order to clip that little pickup in there, I had to put this little rod. Actually, this was I think an old. Uh, 
This is an old arrow that was laying around in my garage, like a, a play, a kid's play arrow, which I just, uh, it, it had that paint job on it. The tip was silver and the arrow um, was black and I just cut it and trimmed down the one side and painted it silver. And um, I mounted a, a piece of a bolt in here to receive the other side of the, the other side of the pickup. Um, so that's how it stays in there. <clears throat> and, uh, and I wanted to put a back piece on it to add some stability. And uh, this, is a, this is a crazy piece of wood from a piece of Asian furniture that we uh, re redid. And we actually took a, a, like a rough uh, Filipino bookcase and, and uh, that was quite tall and cut it down shorter. So this is one of the side panels of one of those, uh, of, of, of that particular bookcase. And it was just really dark stained wood. And when I sanded it down, it just, it, it revealed these kind of crazy, uh, crazy colors and patterns in the wood. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that little back piece, I guess you could call it a resonator. I, I put some spaces in it so that um, sound can get out from the back, but but as you can hear, it doesn't sound like much without uh, plugging it in. But I will uh, I'll attach a little segment of a video here with this thing plugged in to give you a sense of what it, it sounds like. It's really quite uh, qu quite surprised me um, how well it sounds when it's plugged in. <laughs> So that is uh, that is steel steel drum electric tenor banjo. Thanks for watching.